Hi, welcome back to AQA Certificate for the Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on Chapter 4.6, Algebraic Proof. Uh, this is a great A star video. Uh, make sure you understand it and let us start. So, to do a proof, basically you want to say that something is roughly true and most of them will be like uh, saying that uh, if the x value is positive or if it's negative, the whole thing, the result will be something. It can be a square number, cube number, um, things like that, basically. So, yeah. Uh, remember that square numbers are really important in these kind of uh, questions because for each uh, square number it can only be positive so if a question were to ask uh, prove that this whole thing is a positive number then you try to say that because uh, you try to factorize everything into a bracket and say uh, because a square number can never be negative um, this equation is positive. So, yeah. So now we have a classic question to prove that something is true when something is something. And in this case, is this whole thing is a square number when x is positive. So when x is positive, well, what do we do now? First thing to do is to simplify fully the first, the original equation, which is um, 2x cubed minus x squared times 2x minus 9, and that would result in 2x cubed minus 2x cubed plus 9x, and as we know, uh, these two are the same, so they cancel out each other, and we are left with 9x. So now, what to do? we should factorize. Factorize fully, uh, 9x squared, we know 9 is a square number, x is a square number, so the whole thing must be a square number. And so we can write it, express it as 3x bracket squared. And so, um, yeah, basically that is how you solve this. And the last thing you do is to analyze what you get finally, which is 3x squared, and you have to say something. When x is positive, or since x is positive, then we can draw the equation, the original one is equal to what you've got, and you say that this is a square number, so the statement is true, basically, and that is all in this um, chapter is all about a uh, phrase uh, expression of whether the statement is true or false. So this chapter is particularly um, simple because the question basically tells you what to do. But you need to think about it. It's really logical if you are good with logic, you can do it quite easily. But if you aren't, then you will find some trouble. Uh, factorizing and simplifying is always the way to do it because you can tell a lot from a factorized item. And yeah. Uh, also, I think that um, completing the square in this case is more useful than factorizing because sometimes when you're trying to prove something, you aren't going to get a perfect um, root kind of equation and things will get really messy and so yeah, uh, I think it's quite good to use completing the square in this uh, aspect of math. 
So I have two statements for you to prove, which is that 2x plus 9 times x plus 2 minus x is an even number. And also prove that x squared minus 2x plus 2 is always positive. Uh, you have a bit of time to think about it, and I will review the answer soon. So this is how you represent the answer. You basically expand everything, you collect the like terms, then you can find that actually the whole thing is defi uh, divisible by 2. So this is a multiple of 2 on the other hand. And so this is an even number. And for this one, it can be by using completing the square, you can get that uh, it is a square number plus a positive number and any square number the smallest possible number is zero because if the root is uh, a negative number it's it squares and becomes positive so the smallest possible is zero and it adds a positive number and so this must be a positive number and that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed and yeah, I will see you next time.